I'm Steve Forbert. Thanks day, for tuning in. Yourself. You're listening to Pavlina's okay. Kids Place. Come on out beneath the shining sun. Leave me in the middle of the night. Let me hear you say everything. Hey everyone, this is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place. I'm on location uh, with singer and songwriter Steve Forbert. Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. That's good. Okay. Being true to yourself is something that you're always famous for, and staying true to with your folk rock uh, and great lyrics. It was that hard to do when like all the styles were coming and going. Um, I uh, I just do folk rock, and I just try to make each song as good as uh, I feel it should be. You know, and just get it to a point to where I feel confident in a song that I would sing it in front of people and give it a try and feel good about it. That's all I'm worried about. Um, I don't have a lot of styles anyway. I'm just all about the song by song by song. And you kind of have to live the songs, generally speaking, too. A lot of them, you have to kind of live them to get to them. So that's that's all I'm really doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I couldn't go into jazz or or uh, new wave or something. It just wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. It wouldn't work at all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Like growing up, kids have all kinds of obstacles. What kind of obstacle did you have, and how did you overcome or deal with it? Well, I had a lot of obstacles. I think. Um, but it's kind of a cliche. But you know, I kind of got lost in the music and the songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, And that kind of got me through it. And then I got out of Mississippi as quick as I could, like really when I was 21, I was ready to go. And I played in bands and did did that sort of thing. And that was was a a place to go for me, the the bands, the music, and um, just that life. So um, you've are, you have a really special guitar from the 1940s um, that could probably even talk. So um, what what's pretty, pretty cool about that guitar? Well, it's a good one, and if you have a good guitar and then you let it, you know, get 30, 40, 50 years old, it gets really good. It's a little temperamental, yeah. very subject to humidity changes and stuff with all the travel. Um, but it's just a, it's an S.J. Gibson from probably 1949, so that's it. If, if you get a good one and it's that old, it's probably pretty good. Yeah, definitely. So the cello is really cool in your new song, Don't I Look Down, Polly Ann. So uh, it's kind of a sad, but, you know, pretty song. So where did you get the inf- inspiration for that song? I don't really know. Um, it's about the... Um, credit crisis and the Wall Street collapse, which it never did collapse really, but that sort of thing. On a personal level, um, you know, the economic meltdown and all that was caused uh, a few years ago by, you know, all the things that caused it, uh, which we won't go into here. But then it's just looking at that on a personal level and it just borrows a little bit from a Walt Disney movie as well. Mm -hmm. I believe it was a Walt Disney movie, Pollyanna. Probably was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Um, so if you could write a song about your life, what would you title that song and why? Well, I do that all the time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, gee, um, you know, there's so many already. 30 more years is one, and it is what it is, and that's all is one, and uh, what kind of guy is one, and the list goes on. I kind of kind of do one of middle age is one mm-hmm. I kind of do one about every couple of years that is sort of encompassing of that period for me yeah. so I don't know what the next one will be called <laughs> yeah awesome okay so what are your upcoming plans and events uh keep playing and then just looking on slowly circling around working on writing that next song awesome. there you go cool well thank you so much for talking to me you're welcome the sidewalk's bill, it's no big deal The traffic lights are blinking just the same A church bell tolls